place in this place, our place in this place, our place in this place, the place to be. Our place in this place, our place in this place, our place in this place, the place to be. I'm the only one to rap with MC. We have been running a two year inclusive music project that has been funded by Youth Music. The project gives young people the opportunity to access different kinds of music to develop their skills in those areas, but also to use music to talk about subjects and topics that are important to them. I worked with all of the groups, the partners and the young people to kind of coordinate the timetable, the programming, I worked with the artists, kind of connecting everyone together, connecting the young people with the music and taking a lead with the young leaders and helping them make the decisions of what they wanted to do to ensure that it was very youth-led. I think it's made us more confident, like, obviously having to stand up in front of like, the mic and like, like rap, it's like made us more confident in speaking. So like, if I had to grow up and do an assembly at school, I think I'd be more confident talking in front of people. Waking up at 8 o'clock, alarm's going off and I just want to stop. Yeah, I will drop, kick it off the dog, hit it off a table and it will drop. We've concentrated the second year of the project within two areas in Northumberland, Ashington and Cramlington. So we've been um, reflecting on the community that most of these young people come from. We talked about things that were challenging, we talked about things that were average and normal, and then we talked about things that were really great. They absolutely love it. They love anything to do with music. Um, it's kind of a good way for them to express themselves, because a lot of them as well, like, with talking and communication that way, like, they struggle a lot. So when there's like instruments, even if it's just banging the drum and stuff like that, it's a really good way for them to express themselves. People are enjoying it. Like, I'm enjoying it. I mean, I come here, I have a laugh with Gareth and I have a laugh with everybody. Um, yeah, it's really enjoyable experience to do. I'd say it opened a doorway for a lot of them. They've like got a new focus now. They've got something to kind of work towards. You're telling people's story back to them. It's a very powerful thing uh, and it makes them respond perhaps and see things that they perceived as quite ordinary up to that point as really quite extraordinary. There are with them on the Arts Award, which is an arts qualification for young people under 25, and gave them the opportunity to create their own portfolios based on all of the work they created, so that they can earn a qualification which will go towards their CV and is equivalent to GCSEs and various other qualifications to help them on their way. We've worked with a variety of partners over the two years, including youth settings, schools, SEND groups, community groups and we've also done open access workshops so that young people from across the area can be involved in the project. We've been working alongside Helix Arts to do um, a project where they've been sending in some artists to work with our students in year nine. So I met with two young singer-songwriters and um, two very different songwriters and we have been working on songwriting together. We had a variety of songwriting entry points really, a mixture of lyric writing, writing off the back of rhythmic work, um, writing off the back of melodic work. There then was a young woman who said, I actually think I could perform this. So we do also have a soloist on it as well. I think it's really important for them to get, a, get an idea of, of real life outside of a classroom and be able to, to work with real life musicians and they definitely they enjoy doing that. I've learned that I can come up with lyrics easier than I thought. It's like inspired me to like write more. These two young women had very different approaches which was really interesting for me and inspiring actually. Trying to accept the because it's true All of those things I can do by myself We found that post-Covid some of the young people that we had hoped to engage with were more reluctant to come to one-to-one -to -one sessions. A lot of the young people on our project are from rurally isolated areas of Northumberland 
and so they don't have access to the music provision that other areas might have. Some of them had mental health issues, so the fact that they've been able to commit to a regular input to the project has been really impressive. With this group, we've been doing some recording, recording some music. We did a little bit of beat making, we've done some uh, lots and lots of lyric writing. Cool, what they say, we're driving and sing. I'll be right back, I'll catch up play. We've been writing lyrics as individuals, then we're writing as a group, then we're putting the song and made a song. They all want me to be smart, but I want to fit in with a trend. They want me to be good in school, but I want to be a road man in the end. The confidence that that the rapping has given them and especially in the fact that they were writing their own songs and I mean it actually brought me to tears the other week. When people get up and give it a go, especially the recording part, it's very very daunting to do that in a room full of people so whenever that happens I'm always I'm always very proud of that. It's something that they can take forward because they realise they can learn something new and it's not all about education and sitting in the classroom. I know you're in din now, come over I'll give you a free trial. <laughs> I think there's something about finishing something when you've actually got a complete piece of work and they've been there from the start of that to the end. There's something really exciting about that. It's something I'd like to do again with the kids because the kids are getting so much from it. Yeah.